that does back I don't know why that happens to my computer. Oh, okay, you guys. So, gentlemen, ready? Okay. Turn around. Face towards the board. It's going to make me think you're really ready. Okay. Oh, I like it. Look at that. It's ready. All right, you guys. So today we're going to actually learn how to simplify rational functions. We kind of talked about it a little bit. Um, and the way that you simplify ra rational functions, which a lot of you, by the way, already done to some extent, is you factor the um, top polynomial, factor the bottom polynomial, and then cross out the factors. The part that most kids mess up is they start crossing out all kinds of stuff. They cross out terms. Okay, factors have to be um, divided by or split up with multiplication, right? If you have adding or subtracting, then you cannot cancel that. And so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put parentheses like this around my entire factor. And that tells me if I cancel this, I have to cancel the whole thing. Okay, so let's start with the beginning one, which is easy. Because, look, you guys. I'm just going to rewrite this just for clarity. Okay. I have 3 times x over negative 2 times x. Are these all factors? Is there any additional subtraction? No. Where, where would you see it? Well, it's a negative 2. It's not a subtraction. It's a negative number. Okay, so because they're all factors, we're allowed to cancel these. Do we have anything that is, um, that are the same on the top and bottom? X's. So I can cross this one out, and I can cross this out, and what I have left is 3 over negative 2. If you want to write this as a negative 3 over 2 like that, that's fine too. Either one. No, 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 no. There's no negative exponent. It's a negative number. Negative, you guys are getting mixing up units now. Okay, so number two, actually let's go back to number two. I'm gonna do that last because it's kind of confusing. Let's go do number three first. Okay, this was nice because we factored it already for you. Isn't that nice? And notice you guys that my factors have parentheses around them, right? Here's where the, the split is with the multiplication. You see that? So this whole thing is a factor. 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 So remember, you in order to cancel, you have to be able to cancel the entire thing. So what can I cancel here? The x minus 7. So my answer, if I multiply straight across, is x plus 1 over x plus 9. Now, I can I cancel the x's? Okay, let's do it. What do you guys, you guys all think that? Are these separated by multiplication? No, they're separated by addition. They are separated by addition. So they are not factors, are they? These are terms. This entire thing is a factor. Remember, to cancel it, I have to have the exact same thing on the top or the exact thing on the bottom. Do I have that? No. And so you can't cancel that. I sort of led you into that, Sid, because that is the most common mistake we see. Kids let, that once they get to the canceling phase, they're like, oh, yeah, cancel that X, cancel that Y. But only if they're factors. Yes? Can you remove the couple You don't have to have the parentheses. I really just put them there so you can see that that whole thing is a factor. Okay. Next one. You guys do that one. Do four. Quickly. I'm giving you 20 seconds. Ready to go. Huh? Number four. Can you cancel the X? We'll go back to it in a minute. Do number four. You have five seconds. Okay, so watch, guys. Which ones are the same? Yeah. And are they separated by multiplication? Yes. They are. Yes, they are. So we can cancel that and I get x plus 3 over x minus 2. Aiden, you ready? Yeah. Now look, this x, is it separated by multiplication? Yeah, no. Well, it's separated by addition, right? So you can only do it So they have to be factors. And so because this is separated, 
by addition and subtraction, we cannot cancel those because they're terms, they're not factors. Make sense? Yeah. Don't do this. At least a third of you will do it. At <laughs> one point or another. Maybe not, hopefully not on the test because we're going to get you out of that before you do it. But, all right. Now, it isn't always true, though, that we're going to be really nice and factor these for you. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do two. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, two. Number two. But look, Sid, doesn't it look really similar? Yes. Okay, wait. I'm even going to do this just to. I'm going to do this to see if this helps. So negative two um, plus x over two minus x. Oh my gosh, it's so, so close. What can we do? Okay, so we could, could we factor out a negative one out of one or the other? Which one do you want to factor a negative one out of? The top or the bottom? Okay, let's do it. Say none. Oh, no, we want to do it on one. Because watch what happens. It's like magic. It's math magic. <coughs> okay, so you said the top, right? So I'm going to put a negative one out here. When I factor a negative one out of two, what do I get? Positive two. When I factor a negative one out of positive x, what do I get? Oh, very cool, math magic. Are these factors? Yes. Yes, isn't it negative one times that whole thing? So now look, can't we cancel these two minus x's? Whoa, yeah. So cool. So what's my answer? Negative one, negative one. Craziness. So guys, what you're gonna find when you get really used to this, when you have opposites like this and they're exactly the opposite, you just cancel them and put a negative one somewhere, right? Because you know that they're exactly the same except for one of them is the opposite of the other. Yeah. It's always like negative one. Always. Yeah. Okay. Ready to move on now? We're still writing. Still writing? Okay. Wait a second. Elizabeth, wake up. Yes? How would you put the addition sign? Wait, say it again? The top is like an addition sign. How would you turn that So I want, somehow I want to be able to cancel something, right? Okay, let me go back so you can see it better. Uh, this is one of the hardest things for kids sort of to get. Okay, so ideally, in order to cancel it, it has to be exactly the same on the top and bottom, right? This is so close to being exactly the same. It's just the negative signs are wrong, right? The signs are wrong. So by factoring out a negative one out of this, I make this positive and I make this negative, making these identical now. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. And so by making them identical, now I can cancel these. And all I have left is that negative one. Make sense? Yeah. Cool, right? Math magic. Imagination. Little SpongeBob there. My SpongeBob addicts. Let me tell you, I watched a lot of SpongeBob when I was home with my kids. I was a stay-at-home mom for 15 years. Okay. It was fun. I loved it. I love SpongeBob too, actually. We can do a whole like family SpongeBob trivia. Okay. So you guys, when you're simplifying these, unfortunately we didn't factor these for you. So what do we have to do? We have to factor them. Okay. But we're super good factors. Factor superheroes. All right, here we go. So we talk, start with the top, the numerator, right? The numerator. And you guys, when we're factoring, what's the first thing we always do? Greatest common factor, love it. Okay, so for sure we can take a three out of there. For sure, wait, I gotta do this because it's too fat for me. Okay, three, I take a three. What else can we take? X. X. Now you guys, if you have trouble like to like doing this, if you need to, just do 3x squared minus 6x and divide that. Do 3x 
and 3x. Do you see that? If you have, are having issues with how do you solve that, because 3 over 3 is just 1, isn't it? Yes. Okay, and then x squared over x gives me just x. Okay, and then 6x over 3x gives me 2. Everyone see that? Can I factor that anymore? No. Okay, let's factor the bottom now. I'm going to do it in a... X I'm going to do it on a, in a different color. What Four. do you want to take out of that one? Um, one, three. three uh, no, six. What's six? Oh, yeah, six, six. Three, uh, six. You want the greatest common factor. I don't want six. I want okay, let's take six. <laughs> I want six. Yes. Darn it. Uh, okay. So we're going to do six and we're going to do an X. Because we want the greatest common factor. What's going to happen if you do three? Is that you're going to have to do more later? Yeah, but it's over. That's what the answer is. Oh, okay. We like six. So, look, if I divide six x from six x squared, I get x, minus and then minus two. Minus two. Then oh. It's the same. It's the same look, you guys, this is important. Oh. Important right here. Well, Put on your important. Hold on. Look, this is three times x times this. Do you see that? Six. So those are, this is a factor, this is a factor, this is a factor, right? This is a factor, this is a factor, this is a factor. So now, here, so what is three over six reduced? One half. Now, can I cancel those x's? Yes, now I can, because they are factors. You see that? And then we can cancel these. So my answer is just one half. Yes. Are we we still get rid of the x's if we can simplify the fraction? If we can simplify the squeeze in the x? Yes. Yeah, if I have, let's say I have 2x over 5x. These are still multiplication, aren't they? Yeah. And so you still can do that. Right? Good question. I like it. Could you do it from the start? Did you just get one half or you see it from the start? Yeah, but remember you can't you can't reduce this way. Like you would have to first factor it out. Yeah. Yeah. If you know it right off the bat, yeah. I would encourage you to show us as much work though as you can. Because as much as you guys think that you know you can do it all up here, you might not be able to. Alright, let's do the next one. <coughs> All right, you guys try that one. I'd like you to try number six. Come on. All right, who can help me? Factor the top for us. Okay, hold on, flip. Okay, so you guys, everybody agree this is the top? Can you show me? Oh, okay, yeah, let's talk about factoring for a minute, okay? For just about a minute, because this would be like the fifth time we've talked about it. Okay, and so if you are struggling with factoring, then you need to come see us. Okay, because we're really, we really are not going to reach each factor. But I will say this. When you look at a problem like this, when A is 1, the question that should be coming into your brain every time, even me as a math teacher, I say to myself, what are the factors of negative 12 that add up to negative 4? Right? And so I, it's like, okay, so because I've been doing math forever, and because when we did, we did math for, you know, doctoring in middle school, I swear it felt like for three months straight. I'm pretty good at this, okay? But you guys haven't been doing it forever. You're not an old lady like me, right? And you probably didn't spend this amount of time on it in middle school. I'm not going to lie. They don't spend the time that we used to get to learn factoring. And it does take practice. So you can go off to the side and say 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Right? And you list all the factors of 12. And then you say to yourself, okay, I know that middle term is negative. So my bigger number has to be negative when I add them together. Right? So then I say, okay, if I add this together, do I get four? No. No. If I add this together, do I get four? Yes. yes. There it is. You see that? 
And so it's going to be x plus 2, x minus 6. Get it? Yeah. Yeah, hold on a minute. For a SOAR card, you can answer this. But I think your, your brother got two of these this month. <coughs> okay, you ready? For a SOAR card, where is this, if I graphed it on Desmos, where is it going to cross the x axis? It's Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Positive six, negative two. Positive six, negative two. Close. It's coming. Where's my sword power? You, I'll give you another. Did you already get one earlier? I'll say what you did. You have to give us the bottom so we get the sword power. Yeah, I'll give you a bottom two. I'll give you. I'll give one for the try. I like the try. Straight in Okay. Yeah. I don't think I Wait, so you just take a shortcut like this and those as if you find it. Yes. Because the way I You could do AC too. I plugged in the X squared minus 6x plus 2x minus Absolutely, you guys. So if you use AC, this is what this is you're my daughter. My daughter, I'm like, you know you can just skip to the no, you're not my really my daughter, but you know, I'll say to her, like, you know you can just skip from here straight to here without using AC. And she goes, she's like, don't confuse me, Mom. I finally got factory. So if your method works, use it. I'm just giving a few kids that wouldn't probably do all that work a way out. Okay? So you know what? For, for when, you, when your A is one out here, probably wouldn't. What would you? Oh, so maybe the A is different. If the A is in one, I already gave one. You want to trade your name on it? Yeah. I didn't get one. That sucks. Is there a name on it? No, it looks like it's like Mr. Oh, yeah. I don't have a few thin ones. I don't know why that looks. Oh! Counterfeit. Counterfeit. I guess I do. Well, is that fake? Is that fake? Other fake? I don't think so, because I got them from the office. No, I don't think like, like, I'll take them off your hands. Dude, I'm going to... Okay, wait. I, I do too. She dropped some off. This is... Okay. All right. Okay, Mr. Dick. Um, can't you do the factor of squared minus four? Yes, we're going to get there. You want to do that one for me? No, we're not done. We're only like halfway done. But please, I need it. Go. Give it to me. Okay. Well, and then you just get x plus two and x minus two. I love it. It's a difference of two perfect squares. Love it. Love it. Okay. This is my favorite part of these problems. My favorite part because you keep to cross out stuff. It's like anger management right here. Okay. Ready? Boom. Boom. What do we have left? And we're going to cross out the X's, right? No. 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 Oh, kids are so good. Do you know how happy it makes it when kids are actually listening to me? Oh, that did. Well, last period, it was not a listening moment. I don't know. First period is rough, right? You guys know. Come in and you're tired. Okay, so seven is interesting, you guys, but just I'm just giving you a heads up that on the tests and things, because I actually read through the um, the pacing guide that for you guys, and they said only to use trinomials and binomials, which means we would give you one with four. But I'm going to do it anyway because you guys know how to do this. You do. Wait, hold on. For a store card, okay. how do you factor this top part? Of yourself. Give yeah. it to me. You group, you group the you group. Jaden, you go. Let's go. You don't. You group these two together, right? Yes. Okay. And Sword when you card. group them together, then you take the first. You take the first group and you look for a greatest common factor. Score card, right? man. There we go. A greatest common factor. Who would have thought? You guys have to turn them in though, because it wouldn't be great if all of only our kids won. Oh. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> just give me all of them. Okay. So look, I'm gonna factor out an x squared out of the first ones. Everyone see that? 
Wait, off the Because there's two X's and two X's. And so I get X plus two here. What am I going to factor out of the second nine grouping? Uh, negative nine. Just a negative nine, right? Come on, Why did I just switch over? <laughs> okay, negative nine, and we get X plus two. If we did this right, what should match? Plus two. Yeah, the little thing in the parentheses. If we didn't, if we don't do the same thing, sure, you did it wrong. We well, you know we did it. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep factoring the top here. So I get x squared minus nine x plus two. Am I done? No, 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 no you're not. Difference of squares, two perfect squares, right? Difference of two perfect squares. So. I get x plus 3, x minus 3, x plus 2. Forest or card? Where will these cross the x axis? Hey, you got it. Andy, give it to me. Good. Positive 3, negative 3, and negative 2. Question? And just give me the factors? Yeah. Go for it. But do we have to give you the work or no? No, you can just put that. Just write me the decimals. No, you can just factor it like this. You guys work. Yeah, you have to write the factors like this. No, yeah, I know. I just I didn't do any of that. I just put it in the decimals then. Okay. Yeah, I like it. They aren't always gonna come out right nice and perfect. Well, maybe on the desk, because I think I did pick really easy questions that I made them. But um, but um, yeah, if, the, if you understand that the x-intercepts are actually the solutions, but then you can write factors from, I, I think that's awesome. Okay, so now I did the top, the bottom though. X minus two x plus six. X minus two x plus six. No. Because oh, okay. negative two times six would give me a negative twelve. Yeah, I said negative one because that's five. Yeah, but negative one times six would give me negative six. It's two. Positive. Negative. Six. Negative one. Negative. Negative. X plus two. Plus three. X plus three. You guys, so that's something kids do a lot. They make those kinds of mistakes. I gotta fill it out. If you guys want, if you leave them with me, I can turn them in for you. What? Get store cards. Oh, gotcha. I can drop them in the box oh. for you. But wait until the end and give them to you, okay? All right. So here's my favorite part. You start crossing stuff out. All right. I'm going to... Okay, so I used to call this years and years ago, I used to call this the bikini rule. Because when you wear a bikini, would it be a problem if you had two bottoms? Yes. So if you... Same is true in math. If you cross out two bottoms, it's a problem. Bottoms, so you need a bottom and a top to cancel it. Because sometimes kids will cancel this way. You can't do that, but I know, crazy. Really, they do it when it's like factor, like fraction, 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 fraction. They'll be like, oh, a bottom and another bottom way over here. But it has to be a bottom and a top, a numerator and a denominator. So look, this one and this one, this one and this one. X minus, X minus What's my answer? Isn't that crazy? That whole big thing was X minus three. Didn't you say we No, no, no. I'm saying when you make the, the cross cancel, that one oh, of them has to be top, okay. one of them has to be bottom. You can cross two bottoms up. You just can't. Yeah. Yes. Phone yes. break now. Next. I'm kind of going back to the graphing because now we're going to use what we just learned, okay? And that was simplifying rational um, expressions. Ready? Wait, are we doing this? Yeah, we're doing this. No, but you guys, if we finish here quick, this is quick. Okay, so sometimes with rational functions, there's what's called holes, or what's also, we also call them. So holes is the easy word, the non-math word. Um, sometimes we call them removable, dis 
Hans and you and T. Now you know why we call them holes, right? Yeah. Removable discontinuity. Okay. And you guys, think of what's a hole look like? It's like a circle, like this, right? That's what a hole in a graph looks like here. Okay, so watch what happens. So just like before, I'm going to factor this, right? When I factor this, when I factor this, I get x minus 3 times x plus 2. Right? I'm going to factor this and I get x minus 3. Do me a favor, really quick, open up your Desmos and graph this original equation. And before I even started, if you were thinking for a minute, just looking at it, where would you tell me the vertical asymptote would probably be? Plus 3. Yeah, x equals 3, right? Because you do x minus 3 equals 0, and you'd say there's probably an asymptote whoops, at 3, right? So let's test that out. Go ahead and graph this. Test it out for me. Oh, yeah. Hold on a minute. It's a line, isn't it? Yeah. It's a line, which is so weird. Okay, it is. It is a line. Uh oh. And you wouldn't expect it to be a line, would you? Because watch what happens, you guys. What's really happening is these will cancel, won't they? And you get x plus 2. Well, y equals x plus 2 is a line, isn't it? So we get 2, and then I'm going to graph this. Let's see. I can actually probably graph this as fast as you guys can on it. I'm just supposed to. No? No. Darn it. Okay, so there it is. Except, you guys, it, that wasn't, this wasn't the original equation, was it? This was. And even, even though we reduced out this, the original equation, if we had 3, it would, wouldn't it make it undefined? Because it would make the denominator 0. Do you see that? Let me go back. Ready? Listen. Okay, even though this reduces to a line, the original equation looked like this, right? And if I were to put a 3 in here, wouldn't it give me a zero denominator? If I were to put a 3 into this equation, for x, yes. If I were to substitute a 3 for the x, wouldn't it give me a denominator of zero? Yes. And that's a problem, isn't it? So we know at 3 that this graph can't happen. So what you do, though, is you go to 3 on this graph where x is 3. So 1, 2, 3. It's right here. And that creates a hole. It's a hole. Just do it for me. Oops. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to make it look pretty. Okay, so it's got a hole there. In other words, it goes like this on the line, and then it stops right there. It's not allowed to be 3. X can't be 3. Where does that hole happen? It happens at 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3, 5. And the way you get 5 is you take this 3 and substitute it in up here. Right? Okay. Now watch. Do this on your, on your calculator. And this is the one, I'd say, downfall of... Desmos, it doesn't show the holes, right? If you look at it, you don't see a hole on Desmos, do you? But if you click on 3, 5 on your graph, go ahead and do that. What does it say? Undefined. It says undefined. Do you see that? So even though it doesn't show it right away like a big hole like ours does, it's there. It just doesn't show it. Yeah, it shows the hole when you click on it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and so at 3, we have... A hole. Oh my god. Okay. So let's look at the next one because that one's a little harder because it isn't actually a line when we get done with it. Okay, but it's already factored for us. That was nice of us, right? Okay, so if you were to do this without even thinking about canceling, you would probably say to yourself, okay, I, there's going to be a vertical asymptote at x equals 2 and x equals 4. Wouldn't you think that? Initially, without if you didn't even look for holes? Except what happens? Yeah, We're going to cancel this. So when you cancel it, it creates a hole at x equals what? Two. Two. So what you do, though, is you graph this as if the hole weren't there. 
you graph this new, you graph this. Okay, so let's do that together. Let's do it together because this is a good practice for our quiz next time. What is my vertical asymptote on our new graph? The vertical asymptote is going to be at 4. Good. X equals 4. Who said that? I did. Nice. X equals 4. Let's graph it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Like it. Like it. Like it. Okay. Now, here we go. Horizontal asymptotes. Okay, you guys. It's probably going to require you to look back at your... No at your um, you don't remember this is the bobo bot equals right so is it bigger on the bottom bigger on the top or equal, equal. it's equal so do we what do we say about equal sign the, the leading coefficient over the leading coefficient so what is the leading coefficient on this one one, one. one over one is one get it so let's put that we put that in pink Hard to miss these asymptotes, isn't it? And then you're going to put in your x-intercept, y-intercept, right? So if I do my x-intercept, my x, can you guys graph, where is this? Can you graph it real quick and tell me where my x-intercepts, y-intercepts are? Mm -hmm. x. So the x is where? Positive 4? Negative 6. Negative 6. Negative 6 is y. Wait, tell me uh, where the x. is wrong. Where is 10 the, plus 4. Where is Negative it? 6 is that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And where's the other one? Negative 1.5. Okay, so it's here and here. Okay. And then I can just sketch in my graphs. Ooh, this is real I think. Okay, and then I would find points over here and graph it as well. But we are done because we need to figure out what where this hole is. The hole is when x is 2, right? Now this time, since we don't know the exact value of y, I'm going to substitute it in and see what it is. To find the y, you take the 2, and it's a whole because that's what we canceled, remember? Okay, so we plug in the 2 into this. So we get 2 plus 6 is 8. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, so it's going to be at negative 4. So at 2, negative 4, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ooh, I can't believe how good I did that. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. It's right here. You see my hole? So in Desmos, there's going to be a little hole, and they're going to ask you to place it. Notice the hole is on the graph. A lot of times kids will be like, oh, it's at x equals 2, and they'll put it right here. Nope. That's not on the graph. Sillies. Okay, so you get it? I don't get it. How do you So it's whatever I crossed out. That's what creates the hole. So I set this equal to zero and I get my x value, two. I take the two and substitute it into my, the new graph that I'm creating. And I get my y value here. You guys will have Desmos, right? So you can find out where this two is on your graph, can't you? But when you click on it, what should it say? Two, two comma undefined, isn't it? No, it's Go to it's negative four. Huh? It's two, two comma negative four. Did I do it wrong? Two. Two plus six is eight. Two minus four is negative two. Oh, sorry, it's negative four. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. Did you do two negative four? Yeah. Did you? Oh, you know what? You have to graph the original equation. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. You had to have graphed the original equation for the whole thing. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, get the whole thing. You guys, we will not test you on holes. We're going to have you do homework with holes, but the, we won't put a hole on the, on the test because it's actually an advance. You guys just learned an honors idea. Is that smart, you guys are? smart. All right, you have about 20 minutes, or no, I guess about nine minutes. You guys, honestly, you can probably finish it in nine minutes. It literally is like, what is the x, the, uh, the x, at, or the vertical axis? Oh. Is that simple? <laughs>